Sal from the Madison Bicycle Shop, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to shift a 7 or a 21 speed bicycle. Okay? Um, we have shifters right on your handlebars. This particular shifting system is called Easy Fire. Um, there's seven speeds, but there's also three ranges, which we'll get to in just a little while, so it is not to confuse you with your seven speeds, which are your actual seven gears. Okay? Um, shifter is very easy to operate. You're going to use your thumb and index finger to do all the work. And your thumb is going to go up into the easier gears. The index finger on the top button here will go back down into your harder, faster gears. Also, there's a little gauge mounted right up on top of your shifter here that will always show you what uh, gear you're in. Okay. So for demonstration purposes today, we are going to be showing you what the derailleur actually does. Um, obviously, you're going to be looking for it. Shifting your bicycle again, you just look down at your shifter and it's very easy to uh, see and operate. So, very simple to operate your seven gears. Your thumb will go up into the easier gears while you pedal forwards. Um, that's an important part. Uh, make sure you're pedaling forwards and only forwards. Try never to pedal backwards. It's very bad for the bicycle. So, pedal forwards only in order to operate the shifting system. While you pedal forwards, Index finger on the top button, click and release, it goes down into a harder, faster gear. So your gauge will read a larger number as well. Your thumb on the lower pedal, while you pedal forwards, back up into your easier gears. Okay? So, our shifter is labeled 1 through 7. Let's tell you what the gears actually do, what the numbers will actually mean. First and second, so numbers 1 and 2, as you know, are low numbers, and they're going to be your two easiest gears, and they're primarily used for starting off or climbing up the steep hill. While we pedal forwards, now we'll go into gears number three, four, or five. Three, four, or five are your mid-range gears. I mean, typically used for just cruising around, having some fun. Um, they're also equivalent to like a lot of single-speed bicycles. So you will find you'll spend most of your time in those three gears, three, four, and five, just cruising around like a normal pace. And again, this is a seven-speed bicycle, so we have two more gears to go. The, gears are not, the last two gears are number six and seven. Six and seven are your two fastest gears. So those gears for high speed, um, not just necessarily for high speed, they're going to also add more resistance. So more resistance equals more burn calories as well. So if you just want to work out a little harder, burn a few more calories, here's number six and seven. So now we've learned how to shift your gears. Next, we're going to talk about the terrifying um, front gears, uh, ranges, front derailleur. Okay? So the left-hand side contains what looks like three more gears. In actuality, you should really think of it as low, medium, and high range. Okay? Uh, low range being the number one, medium range being number two, high range being number three, on the little gauge on top of your shifter. Okay. Again, you have to be pedaling forwards in order to actually operate the ranges, just as you would with shifting gears, you need to be pedaling forwards. So while we pedal forwards, let's create this scenario where we're already maxed out in first gear, we're in our easiest possible gear, but we have a range that will make it even easier, and that range is low range, which is the little tiny chain ring on the inside on the front gears. So while you pedal forwards, if you click the top button on your shifter, It'll drop down into low range, which will make it twice as easy for you. When you're in low range, number one on the left-hand side, the rule is you only use two gears. Those two gears are your two hill climbing gears. Gears numbers one and two. At the top of the hill, once we make it to the top, we want to go back to the left with our thumb, press the larger paddle, make it go back into the number two on the left-hand side. Number two is medium range, where you can use any gear combination you want. We can do the exact opposite now. Let's say we are in medium range and we're in the harder gears, anywhere from third gear on up to seventh gear. We're cruising along at a pretty good pace at this point. Uh, we want to go even faster. If we come to the left side and press in with your thumb, make it go into high range, which is the outermost chain ring here. What will happen is it will actually double up your speed. It will create more, re more resistance, but at this point you should already have the momentum and be moving rather quickly. But as you can see here, I'm pedaling very little, and the back wheel's moving very quickly. The rule is when you're in high range, you use gears numbered three on up to seven, and that'll double up your speed for you. So that's how simple it is to use ranges 
Um, you're not really shifting through ranges. They're there to just help you in certain situations, such as going up a tremendously steep hill or to just gain more speed. Otherwise, you'll find yourself leaving the left shifter right in the number two. Um, that's where you can use any gear combination you want. So just to recap, one on the left-hand side is low range, two on the left-hand side is medium range, three on the left-hand side is high range. When you're in low range, you only use gears numbered one and two. When you're in medium range, you can use any gear you want. When you're in three, high range on the left-hand side, you can use gears number three through seven for high speed. You have to be pedaling forwards to shift into any of your ranges or gears. I'd like to conclude our video um, with some quick tips for you. We just want you to keep in mind that we showed you how to operate a seven speed shifting system. We want you to keep in mind that seven, eight, or nine speeds all work in a very similar fashion. If it's a seven speed bike, first and second are for climbing up hills. An eight speed bike, first and second are for climbing up hills. And if it's a nine speed system, first, second, and third are for climbing up hills. Okay? Um, so it's very easy to operate no matter how many speeds your right hand shifter has. The ranges will work the same on any bicycle. Make sure you always pedal forwards. Try never to pedal backwards. It's actually very bad for the bicycle. Um, and that concludes our segment on shifting. Please watch our other videos. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at the phone number at the end of this video. Bicycle shop, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to shift a 7 or a 21 speed bicycle. Okay? Um, we have shifters right on your handlebars. This particular shifting system is called Easy Fire. Um, there's seven speeds, but there's also three ranges, which we'll get to in just a little while, so it's not to confuse you with your seven speeds, which are your actual seven gears. Okay? Um, shifter is very easy to operate. You're going to use your thumb and index finger to do all the work. Okay? Your thumb's going to go up into 